in the 90s. Coming up, I'll tell you when we get a break from the heat and also what this means for severe storm chances. Josh? All right, thanks, Amber. Community members in Williston are hoping to change a 30-year-old dog law. Under city ordinances, it's illegal to own or in any way possess a dog that appears to be a pit bull or a predominant pit bull mix. A group of residents in Williston are petitioning to have this rule changed. They say they believe the rules are unfair and fuel negative stereotypes against one breed of dog. The group says they will continue to collect signatures and gather support as best they can in order to be ready for the August 30th deadline. It wasn't until 1990 that civil rights legislation was passed to protect people with disabilities in the United States. And this weekend marks the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, more commonly known as ADA. Roy Schultz, director of the Dakota Center for Independent Living, says the two most important pieces of the law are employment and accessibility, requiring all buildings built after 1990 to be reachable for those with disabilities, and employers cannot discriminate in the hiring process. Schultz says it's made life easier, but there's more that could be done, like requiring an electronic door at all businesses and public facilities. I remember back in the days before all this, uh, to go into a restaurant or go into a bar, I couldn't count the number of times that I had to get lifted in and out, uh, you know, to get carried up the steps. I had went to the, the clinic in a small town. The doctor had to come out to my car to do the examination. Even though the ADA exists, barriers are still there and employment can be very hard, but it's just that education component to tell your employer, yes, I live with this disability, but here's how I'm gonna do the job. It may have to be done a little differently, but I'm gonna get it done and I'm gonna do it well. Schultz adds there's still so many things that aren't convenient at all for him to attend, like concerts and rodeos. The North Dakota Republican Party is facing criticism from Governor Doug Burgum over a resolution some are calling anti-LGBT. The resolution lists many policy statements, but the section surrounding anti-discrimination laws has been called out. Parts of it claim that LGBT practices are unhealthy and dangerous and sometimes infect society at large. After Governor Burgum denounced the platform on Twitter, the GOP's executive director sent out a statement saying the group regrets any offense and will be reconsidering the resolution. State Representative Josh Boucher, a Fargo Democrat who is the North Dakota House Minority Leader and the only openly gay member of the legislature, called the GOP resolution disgusting. Language like this within a formal party's document does not do anything to make North Dakota feel like a welcoming place, especially when it's the majority party that has every statewide office, the supermajority of the legislature. The fact that they let language like this pass, they have a lot of work to do to prove otherwise. At this time, it's not clear when the resolution might be reconsidered. All right, heat in Texas up into the hundreds, Amber? Yeah, we're looking at triple-digit heat for today in terms of the heat index values, mostly for South Central and Eastern North Dakota. And, co and coincidentally, that's where we could see some severe storms as well. Uh, Bismarck, you're included under that chance for severe weather. So let's break this down. Increasing some clouds for today and we'll increase the rain and storm chances more late afternoon. Could see maybe an isolated shower before then. But notice that most of this wants to stay in South Central North Dakota. But I do have uh, a few models and the possibility that some of these storms could fire off around the Bismarck area. So that's why you have your chance for severe storms, Bismarck. And then this is all going to push off towards the east. This is today, and then we head into tomorrow. Tomorrow we've got a cold front, and that's going to drape across the state. This will bring a few areas of some storms that we'll have to keep an eye on. These could be severe, but they're going to be uh, certainly not as robust, it looks like, as what we could see for later on today. But the Storm Prediction Center has given us a, mar a marginal risk for severe storms for tomorrow for much of central and eastern North Dakota. Here's your forecast in Dickinson. We're looking at the temperatures in the low mid 80s tomorrow, low 80s on Sunday. Sunday won't be nearly as humid uh, and we're looking at a, a little bit of a cool down for Williston as well. We're back to the low 80s for Saturday and Sunday. Here's a quick look at your Minot seven day forecast where we keep around 80 on Sunday and Monday, which means we'll spend the bulk of our day in the 70s on these days. And notice that we have a quiet forecast next week. Now we've got chances for some storms or some rain and storms Wednesday and Thursday, but right now there's small chances. And then we'll heat back up again for the middle and end of next week. Here's your Bismarck forecast. A really hot and sweltering ending. We could see some late day showers and thunderstorms much more likely this evening. And then next week we're looking to keep those 80s and a pretty quiet and pretty sunny start to next week.
All right, thanks, Amber. Now let's take a look at today's top stories. The number of known coronavirus cases in the U.S. since the pandemic began has crossed the 4 million mark. Worldwide, the U.S. by far has the most reported cases, followed by Brazil, India, and Russia. Cases are now surging in many states, including along the U.S. Gulf Coast in Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama. President Trump announced he's canceling the Jacksonville portion of the Republican National Convention set for next month as Florida struggles with the virus. For the nomination, the president said a meeting of delegates will be held as planned in Charlotte, North Carolina. Coming up after Good Day Dakota, CBS This Morning will bring you more on the big stories of the day. We continue our COVID-19 North Dakota watch with the latest case numbers from the health department reporting 128 new cases of the coronavirus, moving the overall total now to 5,493. One death was also reported, a man in his 70s with underlying health conditions from Burley County. This brings the total number of COVID-19 related deaths now to 97. 68 additional people have recovered from the virus, meaning there are now 921 active cases here in the state, which is the highest amount of active cases since tracking began. 57 people are in the hospital. For the latest information on the coronavirus, visit our website, kxnet.com. All right, Amber, we are in very high temperatures and heat indexes today. And we are. Uh, in fact, it's going to be kind of a, a struggle for some who have respiratory issues that I hear from a lot. And so I just want to give you a heads up that today is going to be sweltering. We have a heat advisor for some of the counties there in Orange. We could have heat advisory or heat index values in this area around 100 degrees. And so here's what the heat index could look like at 5 p.m. We're talking triple digit heat, if not around that for South Central North Dakota. It is going to be hot and without the heat index, the highs today are going to be in the 80s and 90s and you won't get much relief from the wind. This evening, we also have a chance for some severe storms. It's mostly South Central and Eastern North Dakota. And we'll be watching for some storms over the weekend as well. Here's a quick look at your Weekend quick cast, and we've got uh, 80s uh, and 90s on Saturday, a little bit of a cool down there on Sunday, 70s and 80s. Of course, uh, stay tuned to KX News. We'll have the latest on chances for severe storms on Saturday. We cover every single one, whether it's severe or not. All right. Thanks, Amber, and thank you for joining us on Good Day Dakota. CBS This Morning, straight ahead.